Okay, so I haven't done a YouTube video for a while, so there is a fly in my room. That's really loud and you're interrupting me. Thank you. I'm not really even sure what I'm filming for, but I thought I would just start filming once a day, every couple of days, I don't know, and just tell you about my day, how I'm feeling, what I'm doing, things that we're up to. Yeah, I don't know if it's interesting or not, but here we go. The fly is back. So we're getting some work done around our house. Outside, basically. So this is what my backyard currently looks like. <laughs> yeah, and of course it had to start raining when I've got a patch of nothing. So we're getting a slab of concrete and then a pergola. I've just got a temporary roof up there at the moment just to give us some sort of shade and cover from rain for the dogs and things like that. So we're gonna get a pergola, which will probably be another six weeks or so maybe eight weeks, we'll just have to see how we go. That's where we're at at the moment. We just had a gas point put in out the back there so that we can hook up our barbecue that we have to get from my in-laws place eventually when all this is done. Our dogs are currently staying at my in-laws because you know, <laughs> this situation is not okay. So yeah, that's that. In the kitchen, I've just put this play pen together for Leo when they were doing the gas point they put a massive hole in the wall, which is being fixed. We do want to get fake grass out the back, which is probably going to be quite expensive. So I've made an inquiry to get a quote, but don't know when we're going to be able to afford to do that. And that's it for the moment. Uh, the only other thing after this that I like to get done is the fake grass and some screen doors. So we don't have any screen doors in this house. Back door is probably priority because the point is that we're getting the concrete and the pergola and then we just open up the doors and it'd be, you know, nice little entertaining area. So we need screen doors there. Yeah. So that's the current situation. We're living in a mess. So just a little update on the backyard. It rained <laughs> overnight. So there is a nice big pool of mud, muddy water, yucky. And we still had a little bit more work done today. Blake did a little bit of work. We just had to have someone come over with some different tools that we didn't have to cut some pieces out to make this retaining wall. Anyway, it's bloody pain in the ass. So anyway, that's being done. And then we just have the concreter to come tomorrow or Thursday to put up some steel and Saturday to pull the concrete. And then we will have our slab, which is really exciting. Anyway, we are just very lucky that we know people that are able to help and have tools and and then I have Blake who's done a lot of work and yeah, everyone has definitely saved us a lot of money rather than paying someone to do all of this crap. But I will keep you updated on the progress as we go. Okay, this is the next morning. Um, this is our little pool. <laughs> I think it's got a little, oh, excuse you. I think it's got um, a little bit smaller, but I don't know, hopefully it's nice weather for the next few days so that, you know, everything can get done. Bit of a mess out there, but I'm very much looking forward to the end product. So the concrete came yesterday afternoon. He put a drain in and a couple other things. He got rid of pretty much all of the water. Uh, so we're just hoping that that's gonna dry out. He'll be back this afternoon. He's got a couple things to do and then hopefully pour in the concrete on Saturday. Hey. All right, I am an absolute mess lately. Um, Leo's day sleeps haven't been that great the last couple of days. I'm not sure if he's going through a leap or just having a moment. But anyway, I have some social media filming I need to do today. So I had Blake's mum take Leo for the day so that I could focus on that and just get on top of some things because when I get behind, I don't cope very well. So my mental health is super important, I believe. So I just feel like every now and then I just need a day to get on top of stuff. The house is pretty messy just because we've been getting some work done. So I really need to vacuum and mop. I have a few videos to film and just some random, I just have some random stuff that I just need to get done. And I'll just feel so much better when it's done. I want to focus, I want to kick my ass into gear and get some shit done. So let's go. Okay, so I've done the videos that I needed to do and it is 12.30, so it is lunchtime. So I'm just gonna go and have a super quick lunch and then I'm going to try and get on top of some house cleaning and washing. I have a lot of washing. <laughs> but I'm glad these videos are done because it's really hard to film videos when I have Leo because sometimes he'll only sleep for a short amount of time and run out of time. 
And I just like not having any distractions, you know, and just being able to do what I need to do wherever I need to do it. So, yeah. Concrete got done yesterday, which looks awesome. I'm so happy with it. Like, I'm so happy with how the backyard looks already, and it's just the concrete. We had someone come over for a quote of um, fake grass, which was actually a lot cheaper than we thought it was going to be which I'm really happy about. So we'll look at getting that done relatively soon. The Bogola is gonna take about six weeks just because the company is so bombarded with orders from COVID and things. And last night we decided we, <laughs> we wanted to get a spa out the back on the concrete. So we ordered one yesterday. <laughs> it's gonna be great. I'm not gonna have any regrets. Hopefully it's all good and it all works out. Blake's responsible for taking care of it. That was the rule. Anyway, but that's so great. We're gonna get an outdoor setting. We've got a barbecue already to go out there. We're gonna have a spa. We're gonna have fake grass. And it's just gonna look amazing. I'm so, so happy about it. We've never lived somewhere where the backyard has been nice because we've always been renting. And we finally got a house and the backyard was still crap. And now we're doing something about it. And look, even if we don't live here for a really long time, it's definitely gonna add significant value to the house. I'm not mad about it. Oh God, what have we done? Stay tuned. Had a bit of a rough night last night. My Facebook and Instagram were hacked and it's just been an absolute nightmare. I opened up my Facebook and I had a friend request from a random person with no mutuals. And I knew something was wrong because I have my settings on my Facebook that you can only add me if we have mutual friends. So I went into my settings and it had been changed to everyone can add me. So I changed it back. Then like a few seconds later, it was like, oh, your friend request has been accepted to some other random. I'm like what is going on? And within like a second, my profile picture was the ISIS flag. <laughs> and my account had been blocked because they had posted child pornography. Oh, it was so disgusting. So my account was blocked. And I was like, oh my God, I'm freaking out. Blake runs downstairs. He's like, I'm getting messages saying that your profile picture is different. I think you've been hacked. I said, yeah, I have. He said, what about your Instagram? And I was like, oh my God. And I quickly opened my Instagram and within seconds, your account's been blocked for, you know, breaking the guidelines or whatever. Oh. This is pretty much my income right now. My Instagram is my income. And I worked really hard to get a decent following on there. So I was very upset. I was freaking out. Then I was like, what other passwords do they have? I started changing my passwords on everything. Our bank accounts, our email addresses, my Apple ID. I'm like, did they get into my phone? I just started panicking. Googling everything I could. I figured out that this hack actually has been happening since last year. I found a Nine News article where a lot of people were getting the same thing happening, especially to accounts that had business accounts, like business pages linked to their account. And I do, I have a Danielle Russell Facebook page. I don't really use it much. It was just so I could set some other stuff up. But they hack into your account, then they add themselves as a friend, then they make themselves an admin on your page, then they remove you as an admin, and then they use your page your credit card that's on your page to buy ads. So weird. Lucky I've never done an ad on Facebook, so I didn't have any credit card details on my Facebook. Thank God. But I'm going to keep an eye on my accounts anyway, just in case, because, you know. Then I get a notification on my phone that 200 plus passwords are compromised. <laughs> so I just started changing passwords. I deleted autofill passwords on my phone. I cleared our computers. I just, I went into panic mode and yeah, I didn't really sleep much last night <laughs> and I'm still waiting to hear back from Instagram and Facebook today about what's happening. I'm really hoping I can get my Instagram back, but yeah, last night was really tough. I was really upset and today I just feel like I have no motivation. I'm exhausted. I'm still freaking out that I'm not going to get it back. Lucky today is Monday. So today is the day that Leo goes with my mum so that I can do work and do housework. Um, I don't have much work I can do today now, but I'm going to try. I'm just going to do everything I can to get this back. I'm going to make phone calls. I'm just going to do whatever I can. I'm going to try and distract myself and hopefully I will hear back sometime today. Why me? Why? Why do these things happen? Guys, be super careful on the internet, please. Please protect your passwords. Make them different. Make them hard to guess. And if you ever receive any notifications that your passwords have been data leaked, you need to change all your passwords immediately because it means that someone out on the internet has hacked a server, gotten one of your passwords, and then will try that password on every website ever. 
to try and get into as much stuff as they can. I need to go and try and do something because I need to get my mind off of this. <laughs> well, we've come to the end of the day and no Instagram yet. However, this morning I had to send them a picture of me holding a sign with a code and like my name, and my Instagram account and everything. So hopefully that is a step towards getting it back. Um, our management team in Melbourne are also helping us and contacting them on my behalf. So I'm somewhat positive that it's going to be okay. We are now up to day five of no Instagram or Facebook. I feel like I have done everything possible to try and contact Facebook, contact Instagram, make appeals, send emails. I've just, I don't know what else to do. I feel like the first day I was freaking out. And then the next couple of days I was kind of like, I think I'm going to get it back. So I was a bit more calm. And now I'm just freaking out again because I'm like, what if I don't get it back? What if I have to start my Instagram all over again? Oh, fuck. This is my income now, especially Instagram. Not so much Facebook. Facebook, I, I don't care too much about. Instagram is my income. I'm really starting to stress out. And I'm in lockdown, so I don't even like have any distractions. I just really, I need to hear back from them. I need to know what's going on. Do I start up a new Instagram just in case? I don't know. I have to think more about it. Oh, man. All right, I gave up and created a new Instagram. I've gotten about 300 followers in the last probably half an hour or so. So fingers crossed it just builds up. I know it's gonna take some time and it's just gonna put all my income on hold at the moment, which is really devastating, but I just have to do what I can. So see how we go. Had a pretty horrible day today. I don't know why, I just was, yeah, really upset about the Instagram thing. Leo was being super weird, like not sleeping and crying a lot. I think he's going through a leap anyway. On a positive note, we got our spa yesterday. That was really exciting. It's freaking huge. We're going to need some help to get it around the side, but we're not going to take it around the back for a little while until the concrete's been there for a few weeks, just to make sure it's definitely set. That was recommended by the concreter as well. So that's what we will do. I also went to Kmart yesterday. That was also very exciting. I am up to just over 3,000 followers now, which is really exciting. It's been up for about just over 12 hours, about 13 hours. Tonight we're on a TikTok live and I don't know why, but Blake agreed that if I get 25,000 Instagram followers by his birthday, which is the 29th of October, which is about five weeks, he will get property of Danny tattooed on his leg. <laughs> I don't know why. I think he's just trying to help me build up my followers. God love him. So yeah, if you're not following my Instagram, go follow it. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling a little better than I was today, but still just really down about this whole Instagram thing. It's really affecting me more than I thought it would. Anyway, tomorrow's a new day. Pagola guy just came out and he said there is no guarantees it can be done before Christmas. He said ours is a one day job, so maybe he'll be able to slot it in somewhere, but he can't guarantee it. And I'm in two minds, like, do I find someone else or do I just wait and hope that he can slot it in somewhere? Not before Christmas, are you serious? We just have to think about it a little bit. Towards the end of next week, when he does his schedule, he's gonna let us know, hopefully, if there might be time for him to slot it in. So, ah, so annoying. A bit of a rough day with Leo today. This is the second day in a row he's had some pretty terrible day sleeps. I don't know if it's getting to the four month regression or um, he's in leap four at the moment, I think. So it could be that. Yeah, he's just barely slept today. We actually got out of the house and went on a picnic because we had double vaxxed. He's super exhausted. He fell asleep pretty much straight away, but I'm just hoping that he stays asleep. <laughs> So we'll see what happens. Still no update on Instagram or Facebook. Not much I can do about that. And yeah. Okay, it's grass day. I'm so excited. It's happening over two days. Today he's going to lay like the base, whatever that is. <laughs> and then tomorrow the grass. <laughs> I've just taken the dogs to Blake's parents again for the night so that he has free rain in the backyard. And hopefully it doesn't rain. And I'm really excited. So Grassman is here, he is starting, and he just said he may be able to do the grass today as well. So really exciting. I'm so, oh, I don't know why I'm so excited for grass. <laughs> 
The backyard's just like, oh, I just feel like it's gonna make it look so fresh and nice and ready to put spa out there and see what's happening with the pergola. I haven't heard anything yet, but. Goodbye, shitty grass, goodbye. Coming along nicely. Okay, here's the next morning. Oh, oh my God. I'm so happy with the progress so far. The grass looks amazing and it just makes it look so fresh outside. Concrete's fantastic. I've gone back and forth with the pergola guy a little bit. He said he can do it before Christmas, but he can't give us an exact date until he has ordered the parts. So last night I paid the deposit so that he can order the parts so that he can give us a date. Hopefully it's not too far away. I think we're gonna put the spa out there before the pergola's up anyway. It comes with a cover, so I think it'll be fine. We're gonna get our barbecue from Blake's parents soon so we can hook that up. If we just get a barbecue cover for that, that will be fine. And we're just looking into an outdoor setting now, which will be weather resistant, so that can go outside. So really waiting for the pergola isn't really affecting anything. I literally cannot wait for lockdown to be over so we can have people over and we can entertain in that area. Oh, and the guy that did our grass, his neighbor does screen doors. Stop everything. So he's gonna help us get a quote for a screen door for the back. Big shout out to our neighbor, Gabby. It's her brother that did our grass and he's the one getting the screen door. If she did not move in, couple doors down. I don't know where I'd be right now. Anyway, I'm gonna end this YouTube video here cause it's already very long. I'm super happy with the backyard. Still haven't heard anything from Facebook or Instagram. My new account's up to just over 11,000. I don't think it's affected my work too much. I'm managing to make things work. I officially sent in the letter to extend my maternity leave till January. I've just ordered some new summer merch. Leo is asleep and I'm in a little bit of a good mood today. Touch wood, even though I've got this monstrous pimple. Anyway, if you enjoy these life update YouTube videos, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and let me know, and I'll keep doing them. Although next one, I might try and include Blake a little bit. <laughs> it's hard, he's never home. Until next time, bye. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you follow our socials. Or you can just follow me because I'm better. Blake! What? Ugh.